heart murmurs are something that comes up quite a lot uh, in real life and also in exams just because it's quite an easily examined topic and it can sometimes be quite stressful especially in the context of an OSCE to try and remember off the top of your head what exact murmur is caused by mitral stenosis for example. Um, however here we have a relatively simple and easy way of remembering all of these murmurs um, just using quite a simple um, algorithm really. So the only thing you need to remember is that aortic stenosis is a systolic murmur. That's the only thing that you absolutely have to rote learn. The rest of it can be figured out just from this bit of knowledge. So essentially, if you change one of these words, so let's say it's mitral stenosis, then it becomes a diastolic murmur. Similarly, if you turned it into aortic regurgitation, that is also a diastolic murmur. And if you change both of these words into mitral regurgitation, it is a systolic murmur. And there are slight variations in terms of exactly what type of systolic or diastolic murmur it is. Um, however, that's something that you can learn and add on once you've got this algorithm fixed in your head. But I always found this quite useful to think about when I was presenting a case in an OSCE to figure out exactly what type of murmur I heard and which um, valve abnormality it likely corresponds with. So another bit of helpful information when trying to figure out which valve abnormality is causing a murmur, it's important to think of where is the murmur heard loudest and is it worse on inspiration or expiration. So generally speaking, the areas in which certain murmurs are heard loudest can be remembered using this APTM schematic. So the aortic, pulmonary, tricuspid and mitral in that order. Then in terms of right-sided murmurs, the tricuspid and pulmonary, those are heard louder on inspiration and the way that I used to think about this is that the right side of the heart is where blood goes in and hence inspiration makes these murmurs louder. Left sided murmurs on the other hand are loudest on expiration because that's where blood exits the heart. So another common topic that comes up especially in OSCEs are various causes of murmurs and there are certain nuances to which causes are more likely for certain types of valve abnormality but in general there's a fair degree of overlap between the causes and which valves may be damaged. So here are a list of common causes. So a lot of the time you can get senile calcification of especially the aortic valve, in which case it becomes less able to open or close properly. Infective endocarditis is another common cause, where bacteria can establish vegetations and cause destruction of the valve. Ischemic heart disease can lead to valve damage. It's worth remembering that murmurs can be physiological as well because murmurs are just caused by turbulent flow so if there is high flow through the heart it may cause a physiological murmur. Other causes also include cardiomyopathy and less commonly nowadays rheumatic heart disease. So just briefly on the topic of left versus right sided uh, heart valve abnormalities and there's a couple of points that are worth bearing in mind. So left sided valvular abnormalities are generally speaking more common because it's a much higher system. So the left side of the heart will pump at around 120 to 140 millimeters of mercury, whereas the right side of the heart will probably pump at around 20. And so the fact that there's much higher pressure within this system means that the valves are more likely to get damaged. On the other hand, right side of heart murmurs tend to be more common, especially amongst IV drug users. And this is the type of question that classically comes up in exams. And the reason is that IV drug users tend to introduce staph aureus, from their skin into their bloodstream when they inject. So Staph aureus is a very aggressive bacterium that is generally not a problem if it's just on your skin. However, if it is introduced to your bloodstream, it is very sticky and it can get stuck in various parts of your body and establish infections. And one of the first places where it can get stuck, where it can cause problems, is the right-sided heart valves. So mainly the tricuspid valve can get damaged by vegetations caused by Staph aureus.